reason for grafting the snake bean onto cowpea is to control two diseases, particularly fusarium wilt, which it can only be controlled at this stage by grafting. Um, this is grafting onto a cow, special type of cowpea called iron cowpea. And this is the seed of the iron cowpea. Uh, the iron cowpea has the other added advantage of its resistance to root knot nematodes. So you get two advantages using the grafting, uh, controlling the fusarium wilt plus uh, controlling of the root knot nematode. These are the iron cowpea seedlings used as a rootstock. And this is the snake bean, the green pod cowishing snake bean variety, which is grafted onto the rootstock. Here we have a uh, the iron cow pea seedling. We want to graft as far above the surface of the soil as we can to pre prevent contamination when this plant gets planted in the field, prevent contaminated soil splashing up onto the graft. So we'll graft just below those first true leaves there. This is the cow pea seedling. So what we do, we'll take the top off that. We'll use our scalpel blade. Once again, we're going to take, make a slit down the, down the rootstock, about that distance. Then we take a tip, one of the tips off our snake bean that we want to graft onto the rootstock. We trim off quite a bit of the leaves to plant, prevent that drying out when the when a, after it's been grafted. Now we create a wedge in the snake bean. Like that. That slots into the cow pea. That. We take your grafting clip, slide that up there to hold the graft in place. Now we do those and we leave those in the mist or in a protected area for a week to ten days and then they'll be ready to be planted in the field.
you don't have access to a, um, this is a surgical scalpel blade, uh, which aren't readily available, you can purchase a uh, Stanley knife from your hardware store, which has a quite a sharp blade on it, which would be good enough to do this sort of work.